Those of you who own Substance Painter can actually use its materials inside Blender if you install the add-on called Substance 3D in Blender. The link is in the description so I suggest you try it. I bought Substance Painter when it was on sale because I've been hearing people saying it's industry standard and wanted to try it. Here are my thoughts. You do need to go through another learning curve, but it can save you time once you get used to it. However, you can come up with the same results using Blender only. Also, Unreal offers Quixel with tons of materials you can use for free if you're a game developer. What I'm trying to say is it's nice to have it around if you have the extra money to spend, but it's not a must, so don't think you're totally missing out on something. If you want to be an expert specializing in textures, then that's another story, right? Anyway, here's how you can use the add-in. Go to Edit Preferences and click on the Add-ons tab. Then click the Install button and browse to where you save the add-in file. Once that's done you'll see this Substance 3D Panel tab to the right. Click the Load button and browse to your Substance materials. I'm gonna choose this American cherry wood material. Let's change the resolution to 1024. I'm gonna delete the original material and press the supply button. Neat. Let's try it again. I'll go for walnut wood material this time. Change the resolution again and apply it to the center piece. I'll apply it to this top part as well. Delete the original material if you don't see the result. I'm going to try changing the color so let's duplicate the material. Click apply and try changing the color. I'll try another material to show you something else. Let's try the lizard scales material. See how it's kind of too big? What you can do is go to the shading workspace and adjust scales from the mapping node. See the difference? Let's undo to go back and render. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you liked it.